the scratching um, going through the different steps that I took to get to where I am right now. I'm only about seven to eight months into my journey. Um, in this video, I will be discussing requesting a DUNS number as well as a SANS registration. Um, in the previous videos, I discussed it, um, discussed it, <laughs> discussed forming your business entity um, as well as requesting an EIN number, um, getting your business bank accounts together, as well as starting your marketing process. Um, the next step I would recommend would be to request your DUNS number. Um, be, being so, um, the DUNS number, it's similar to another social security number, but this will be for building your business credit up. Um, the EIN number, um, that is used to open like business bank accounts or open accounts or lines of credits or things of that nature. Um, the DUNS number, it's similar to that, but it will be for like trade lines, um, your net 30s, things of that nature, um, as well as doing the government registration for uh, business, business, for government contracts. So the DUNS number, um, you would need to request first uh, before you go into the SAMS registration. So the DUNS number, again, like the EIN number, it's free. Um, you can go online, you can request it. It should be available immediately if they have any problems with like your address or anything like that. Um, you could go through their um, little claims portal thing and they'll respond within the next 24 to 48 hours to try to fix whatever it is in your application that's um, stunting you from getting um, the DUNS number. But it's relatively quick. Um, I didn't have any issues. I think it took me like two days because something was up with my um, physical address and my mailing address for the business. Um, and that kind of slowed it down a little bit. Um, however, um, it's a pretty quick process. Again, it's free. Um, and you're going to need it for your SAMS registration um, for government contracting. Um, if you're planning on getting government contracts or bidding on government contracts or potentially having your own fleet one day um, to request or bid on government contracting, um, I would recommend doing a SAMS registration. Um, the reason why I'm discussing this so early is because it's better to get all of this administrative stuff out of the way. That way when you get into like heavy into the dispatching, you ain't got to go back and do something um, that you could have already done before you even started dispatching, dispatching. Um, so I would recommend to go ahead and request a DUNS number if you can and go ahead and file the SAMS registration. Now, the SAMS registration took me about four to five hours to complete. Um, being that my business was new, it went by relatively quickly because I didn't have any... Um, what do you call it? Like funds or like money that I had to prove that I had. I didn't have to input like tax returns or anything for the past like two or three years or anything because I had just started. So getting the actual SAMS registration open and com like completed and approved, um, I would say filing it, it took me about four or five hours. Um, actually getting it back as approved like them reviewing it i would say it took about a week or two because again um just like with my dunce number there was an issue with my um my business address um and i had to like go back and follow up and file claims and stuff but i think that's why it, it took like an extra two weeks for me um but in your journey um the next steps um which were my next steps after getting the um after doing the marketing and you already got your EIN number, already formed your business, I would recommend requesting a DUNS number and starting your SAMS registration if you're planning on bidding on government contracts. Um, that's if you're bidding on co government contracts to dispatch, as well as if you're bidding on government contracts, if you're planning on becoming asset-based later on. If you're planning on getting trucks later on, I would recommend go ahead and get in a SAMS registration. Um, you can also still bid on government contracts um, as a dispatcher and just dispatch those out. Those contracts will be yours and you can just find um, trucking companies to fulfill them. Um, so in the event that you are trying to do that or if you will eventually get your own fleet of trucks and become asset based, um, I would recommend just go ahead and do a SAMS registration. Also, the DUNS number can double in over um, 
building your business credit. Um, the next video that I will do will be in regards to building business credit. Um, in that video, I will be discussing um, why it's important to build your business credit um, and not use your personal credit. Um, so that video will elaborate a little bit more on business credit in the next video. However, um, the next steps that I took in my dispatch journey was going ahead and getting requesting a DUNS number and doing the SAMS registration. Again, I will place links at the bottom of this video in regards to both of those things. Um, the, I filed them both myself. Um, if you want to pay someone to do them for you, um, you can. I just, when I started up, I really didn't feel like paying anybody much of anything. Um, so I just did it myself. So again, I will place links in the bottom for both of the DUNS number and the SAMS registration, um, how to file. You will need the DUNS number first before filing for the SAMS registration. Um, make sure your business address is matching on everything that you are putting it on. So whether it's business bank accounts, EINs, DUNS number, SAMS registration, your business address needs to be the same. Just make sure it's the same across the board. Um, until next time, I'm going to leave this video. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I presently have my comments turned off. And um, in the next video, I will be discussing building your business credit.